In this guide, I'm going to show you how to set up Cloudflare email routing to create free business email for your business using your domain name that you want. At the end of this video, you can create your own free custom email address as many as you want and you can also manage all of them to receive and send email in your Gmail account. In this guide, I assume that you already add your main domain to Cloudflare. If you have not, you can check this video on how to add your domain to Cloudflare. After that, select your domain name and go to email. After that, click on request access. You need to wait for a while for them to approve you. So after your account has been approved, when you click on the email setting, you will see the screen something like this. So from here, I will explain each and every setting for your better understanding. First, create a custom email you want to use. So to create a custom address, under the email routing option, click on this button here, create address. Here you can key in the custom address that you want for your domain name. For this example, I will use info at my domain name. And whenever someone send email to me at this address, it will forward to this email address. So for this example, I will use my Gmail address. And click on save. After that, you will see some error message and the pending verification here. But don't worry about that first. We will verify the email address later. Let's move on to the second option. Clear all address. So for this option, let's say if you enable this, you will still receive the email even if someone type wrongly your domain email address. For example, my actual email address is info at educatepal.xyz. But someone type it wrongly to inof at educatepal.xyz. In this case, if you enable this catch all address, you will still receive the email even if that person key in wrongly your custom email address. Let's move on to the next option, email DNS record. So from here, click on view DNS record. So from here, if you previously have MX record in your DNS, Cloudflare will suggest you to delete the previous MX record and enter the new MX record for this to work properly. So to do that, the previous MX record, just click on the delete here and click delete. And from here, we need to add this to our DNS. So to make it everything easy, click on the add records automatically. So click on this button so that you don't have to key in one by one manually. And this will also avoid the typo mistake. Add records automatically. And click on add records. So after the records added automatically, you will see the status here added. And you will see the green button routing enable here. Let's go to the next option destination address so from here if you would like to forward more than one email account you can add it here but for this tutorial i will just forward to one email address so the next thing we need to do is to verify our destination address so to do this we will log in to our gmail so after you log into your gmail you will receive an email from cloudflare to verify your email address, click on this button, verify email address. After that, you will see your email address is now verified. So click go to email routing, go back to email. So whenever someone send you to this email address, it will forward to this Gmail account. So for a testing purpose, I will send an email to this email address and I will receive the email in my Gmail account. But from here, you will notice that if you want to send an email from your Gmail account, you will see that the from address is your Gmail address. 
So if you want to send email using your custom domain email you created using your Gmail account, what you need to do is to create the same domain name in your hosting. Because for sending purpose, we will need to use the hosting SMTP server to send the email. But take note that if you only want to receive email from your domain email, you don't have to do this. But if you want to send email from your domain email, then you need to create your domain email in your hosting. After you have created your email, go to the gear icon here and click on see all setting. Under account and imports. Under send mail as. From here, click on add other email address. You will see this menu. So from here, enter your display name. For this tutorial, I will just use info and my email address make sure that this is checked and click on next step so from here you need to check what is your hosting smtp server that you need to enter here but for my case and most of the case it will be something like mail and your domain name so this is your username enter your username for my case is and the password click on add account okay next you will see this screen where gmail will send a verification mail to your email address to make sure that you own this email so what you need to do is to log into the inbox to get the verification code so this is the confirmation email so copy the confirmation code and paste it here and click on verify so now at any time when you click on compose you have the option to select your domain email so let's test on this email so to make sure everything set up properly let's test sending one email to myself and click on send message send and now let's log in to my the other email and as you can see the email have received from my domain email sending from my domain email in my opinion with email routing you can create any custom email that you can use in the situation where you don't want to share your main email address for example like when you sign up a new service or new letter, you still can receive the confirmed email from your preferred inbox without showing your main email. Not only that, this feature is also useful if you want to have free option to get your domain email address. I hope that you can like and subscribe to this channel if you find this video to be informative and helpful. And I will also leave a link in the description for you to learn more about WordPress.